Hey guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana. So today's video, we are going to be doing some coffee table styling or decorating. Um, I'm going to try to show you a few different looks. I'm not even exactly sure how I'm going to do them yet. I'm going to call it early spring coffee table decorating. However, you can do whatever, um, you can do these all year round. They're not just really early spring, but I am trying to brighten it up a little bit, bring in some more greenery and florals and just make it a little bit brighter for the season. So um, what this, what I'm not going to be doing is giving you like rules or anything because I personally just don't believe in decorating rules. I know a lot of people say like, sets of three is more pleasing to the eye. To me, what's pleasing to the eye is what I love and what you love is pleasing to the eye for you and it will be beautiful no matter how you do it. Now it may work out that I do sets of three, um, but I really just do what I love. I don't follow any set rules and so if I am gonna give you any tips or anything, I'm going to just tell you to do what you love, not necessarily exactly how somebody tells you to do it. So I'm going to, I personally like a little bit more minimal coffee table just because we do use this space also. Um, but I'm going to show you some minimal styles and then some more that are a little more decorated. I love them more decorated, it's beautiful, but it's just sometimes not always practical. But it's it depends on what you love. So I'm gonna to try to give you a couple of different ideas. And then I'm also, you know, you can feel free to, if you like part of one style, or look but and then a part of another one try to mix them and match them and you know just come up with a style that you love I'll just hopefully give you a few ideas so that with that being said I'm going to go ahead and get started with this early spring coffee table decorating video I'm going to come up with as many looks as I can maybe three, four, five, I'm not sure and then um, I hope at the end you'll let me know which ones you like the best and yeah, I know that my style is not everybody else's style, but maybe you can incorporate pieces that you like um, into maybe one of these looks also. So with that being said, let's get started with this coffee table decorating video. Okay, so before I get started, I just wanted to give you a look at the coffee table that I have. This coffee table, my husband did make for me. I love it, it's pretty large, so we have a lot of room and a lot of space, and then I like the shelf down here. So I am going to be keeping this exactly like it is. So I have these two faux leather bins that I got from Target recently. I will have them linked down below. They work out perfectly here. You could style this different ways. You could put coffee table books or whatever. But what I love about the bins is that in them I have stored Kova's like toys and not her toys, like her um, brain games and her snuffle mats and stuff like that that I don't need out all the time. But when I want to do them with her, I can just pull them out. And then in the other one, I have an extra throw blanket. So. To me, putting the bins down here makes the most sense for our family because we can put items that we get to almost daily, but they don't have to be out, but they're easy to get to. So that being said, I just wanted to give you a look at the coffee table and what we'll be working with today. Okay, so starting with this first look, I'm starting by placing my Still the Slow Home coffee table book. On top of that, I'm adding this rustic planter that I got from a local boutique. And then these are some of my favorite stems from Hobby Lobby. If I can find them, I will link them. I've been having a hard time trying to find them on the website. But I absolutely love these. I don't. I have no idea what they are, but they have this blue kind of berry-like flower, and I love the color of the actual greenery. So next I'm adding in this beautiful wooden vintage bowl that I got from a local antique shop. I love the dark finish of it and to this I am adding this subtle vanilla scented potpourri that I found from Michaels. I love the subtle scent that it offers and it also looks really pretty in this dark antique bowl as well. 
The only other thing I'm adding to this is a couple of coasters that I found from at home and that's going to complete this look number one. It is extremely simple but that is exactly how I like it. I like that you know I added functional pieces like the coaster. I also love adding coffee table books um, and then it just has the really subtle beautiful scent from the potpourri in this beautiful antique bowl. So now moving on to look number two, I found this beautiful tray from at home and it is just a marble mixed with a wood and I really love the way it looks. It pulls in the color of the wood but I love the subtle touch of the marble as well. Again, I'm taking the still coffee table book and then the seasons coffee table book and just stacking those. So to the tray, I wanted to add just a little riser to break up the pot that I'm going to put on top of it. And then I found these beautiful stems from Michael's and I just wanted to trim those down and add those to the pot. So again, to add a little more functionality to this tray, I just wanted to add in those coasters as well. And then I am taking my anthropology candle and adding it to the stack of books along with this little um, candle snuffer. And then I'm just lighting the candle. So that will complete look number two. Again, a very simple look, but I just love the way it ties together and I love those florals for early spring. So now moving on to look number three, I have this beautiful display box that I did get from Amazon. To that, I am just adding these bone beads that I did also get from Amazon. I will have anything linked down below that I can. You could add anything to this. I love adding display boxes because you can also use it to hide your remotes. However, it wouldn't hide very well because it is a glass display box, but it is still a nice way to tuck away the remotes. Then I'm also adding, again, this to coffee table book and then this is a vintage pot that I got from an antique store and then this beautiful pink floral plant I did get from Target I think it was last year and again I love the subtle pop of the pink florals but they're not too big just reminds me of early spring flowers 
And then to the middle, I have this little candle riser and candle that I did get from my January habitation box. I'm going to have habitation box linked down below. You really should check them out. But I love this little riser and candle and that candle has the most beautiful fresh scent. And this is going to complete look number three for our early spring coffee table styling. And now moving on to look number four, I am again stacking a couple of coffee table books. This down to earth book is another one of my absolute favorites. And to the top of that, I am adding this beautiful jute handled magnifying glass that I did find from Amazon. Then I am adding this faux fur fern greenery that I found from Target last year. I love the neutral kind of rustic pot that they came in. And then I'm adding these three gold candlesticks that I found from Amazon and then adding in a mar some marble coasters. I love the different textures going on here between the jute and the gold, the rustic pot, and then the marble. That is one thing I do love to do is to mix different textures for a more interesting look. Okay, so for look number five, I am adding in this beautiful gold tray that I did get from Target. And to that, I'm adding my small Minka pot from Anthropology, And I'm adding in, again, those first florals that I used from Hobby Lobby. I love the way these florals look in a cream colored vase. They just really pop off of the color of the vase. Next, I'm adding in this small brass display box. This box also came in my January habitation box and I absolutely love it. And then I just wanted to add in this small candle that came from Hobby Lobby. It is a melon scented candle. I love the way the hobnail candle plays off of the hobnail texture from the Minka pot. So to this brass box, I am just adding in the coasters. They look really pretty in here, but it also is a nice way to just tuck them in. So that would be a 
first option for how you could really simply style a coffee table. What's nice about a tray is you can just easily pick it up and remove it and you have a nice clean table to play games or whatever you need it cleared off for. And then one more variation would just be to add in this tic-tac-toe board. It's like a three-dimensional tic-tac-toe board that I got from Pier 1 years ago. I do not, I cannot find that one to link, but I will try to link some similar options down below. And so this would just be another variation from that look just to add a little bit more if just the tray was a little too simple for you. So thank you all so much for watching. If you are new, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. Also, leave me a comment down below and let me know which look was your favorite. Thank you all for watching.